Hi again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be describing how I created this Libriomatic monitor, uh, which was a puzzle in an escape room uh, for the International Games Week 2017. And in this puzzle, players can only read the message that's uh, written on the screen if they wear a particular pair of goggles, which they discover as part of the escape room. Now, to create this uh, puzzle, it's actually surprisingly easy from a technical point of view. This is just a regular PC monitor. Um, so this is one that I had from an old desktop machine I had. And um, what you need to do is you do need to uh, do a little bit of um, not quite destroying it, but you do need to prepare it in a way that means that you might not be able to use it for normal uses as well. So just be aware of that. You need to get a craft knife like this. And trust me on this one, all you do is you score around the very edges of the monitor, like that, you go all the way around. You can press quite hard, the blade here will not scratch the glass, okay? You go all the way around, because on the front coating of a monitor like this, what you'll find is there is a, a thin polarizing sheet on the front, and that's what you want to try and remove. So you go all the way around with your craft knife and then starting from the edges simply kind of uh, peel it back. You might need to use a screwdriver or something like that. And what you'll find is you end up peeling off this uh, polarised sheet that looks a bit like this. So this was uh, in front of the monitor. And as soon as I placed it there now, you can see now that there is actually a message on this screen that's been being typed there. And that's been there the whole time I've been running this video so far. But you can only view it uh, with the polarizing screen in place. So if I move that out of the way, you can see the message disappear. And so this code, I mean, it doesn't make much sense out of context, but this Lords and Aphid was a uh, ciphertext that the puzzles, uh, that the players had to uncover. And then they typed that into a different um, puzzle in the room. It was actually a um, typewriter that they had to type it into and that gave them another clue. So don't worry too much about the text as such, but what you need to realise is that this screen can only be viewed when looked through a polarised filter like this. So the next thing to do was to um, write in the narrative into uh, this puzzle. And um, so this was an escape room set in a library and the puzzles were themed around being in the library, around books and around games as well. And so I was sort of brainstorming uh, other things that people associate with uh, libraries. And obviously one of those things was librarians and the old fashioned view, particularly of what a librarian might look like, often has these kind of half rimmed spectacle glasses with a, uh, a lady sort of peering, it is normally a lady I'm afraid, peering over the top and kind of telling people to shush in the library and things like that. So um, I thought it'd be quite fun to kind of have a bit of a joke with that stereotype of um, librarians. So I kind of mocked up this uh, regulation sheet, which the players discovered a bit earlier on in the game. And uh, this was kind of a directive issued for library staff um, to say that uh, they were no longer allowed to wear those old fashioned half rimmed spectacles and they had to wear these new style goggles instead. Uh, so this was a pair of goggles which I um, got off eBay. They're kind of costume goggles. They've got a kind of steampunk style to them. And uh, you might have noticed earlier, what I did was I cut out some circles from the polarizing filters that were the same diameter as the lenses in the goggles. And then I simply kind of placed those into the goggles. So now if you wear these goggles and look at the monitor, you'll see the message. In fact, if I hold that in front of the camera there, you can see that only by looking through these goggles is the message revealed. So this monitor had been uh, in the library the whole time the game had been set up. And if you recall from an earlier video I described, this was taking place on a normal Saturday. Other members of the public were wandering around the library as normal. So just to make sure that um, they didn't interfere with the with the setup I guess. Um, we printed out uh, a couple of these signs as well. This is a kind of a standard sign that you'd find uh, around the library. In fact I copied the design exactly from um, a change machine which was elsewhere in the library that wasn't working on that day. So um, and we simply placed that by the side of 
of the machine like that so that anyone that wasn't involved in playing the game uh, didn't kind of go to point out to the maintenance staff that this monitor wasn't working or something like that. Um, and we also branded this machine a bit more. So rather than it just looking like a Dell PC monitor as it does at the moment, uh, it had a sign on saying sort of a new Librematic uh, 3000 machine, um, uh, which again kind of brought back the uh, the narrative into the game as well. It was positioned next to the existing uh, systems where um, uh, people can borrow books and lend them out and things like that. So it didn't look out of place at all. It looked like it was a replacement system coming in for the existing uh, automated library systems. It wasn't working today. So that kind of fitted in with why it was there. And then we had the, uh, the directive about the library staff both fitting in with the objectives a little bit about, you know, having a bit of humour, having a bit of fun and explain to the players why they needed to wear these glasses. And then the technical solution was that um, it was this polarised screen. And you can see actually you can uh, adjust it the other way up, makes it come out differently. And that then gave them the message. And that's uh, how we created that entire puzzle.